Have you ever wondered how the moon can rust? Because it shouldn't. There's no air, no free oxygen, no water, nothing that normally makes iron oxidize. And yet, Chinese scientists just confirmed the moon really does have rust. And now we finally know why. The mystery began years ago, when the first returned lunar samples showed traces of magnetite, an iron oxide. Most scientists refused to believe it. They assumed it had to be contamination from Earth's atmosphere. But the new samples delivered by China's Chang'e 6 mission, taken from the massive South Pole Aitken Basin on the far side of the moon, change everything. These samples were tested using cutting-edge, contact-free methods, laser scanning in a vacuum chamber, and even slicing the grains with an ion scalpel to expose untouched interiors. What the microscopes revealed was shocking. Crystals of hematite and megamite, real lunar rust, growing directly on moon minerals. This time contamination is impossible. So where did the oxygen come from? The leading explanation, asteroid impacts. When a large asteroid strikes the moon, the violent shock can rip oxygen atoms out of oxygen-rich minerals. For a short moment, just milliseconds, a cloud of free oxygen forms around the impact site. And in that instant, the oxygen reacts with iron in the lunar soil, creating iron oxides. There is more. The crystals were found sealed under a thin, glassy silica layer, exactly the kind produced when lunar rock melts and vaporizes during a massive impact. Plus, the South Pole Aitken Basin has magnetic anomalies that could protect these minerals from solar radiation, allowing the rust to survive for billions of years. So yes, the moon can rust. Not because of Earth, but because ancient asteroid impacts briefly turned parts of the moon into oxygen-rich furnaces. And with every new sample return mission, we're discovering the moon is far less dead than we ever imagined.